Ursula Le Guin is a science fiction and fantasy author of popular and important works including The Left Handed Darkness and the Earthsea series. Le Guin's writing career began in the late 1950s and spans 60 years, during which time she amassed a reputation for bringing her own brand of literary depth to genre writing. In addition to more than 20 novels published over this time, Le Guin was the author of a dozen books of poetry, more than 100 short stories, 7 collections of essays, 13 books for children and 5 volumes of translation. She also wrote a guide for writers. Her books have been translated into more than 40 languages and have sold millions of copies worldwide. Several have been in print for almost 50 years. Her first science fiction novel, Rockinen's World, was published in 1966. Two years later, she published A Wizard of Earthsea, the first in what would become a hugely popular high fantasy series, which is set in a world where the practice of magic is a morally ambiguous science. Le Guin went on to write two more books in the Earthsea series in the 60s and 70s, and then expanded the world with another two in 1990 and 2001, also publishing an accompanying collection of short stories and essays. In the Earthsea stories, wizards gain power over people and things by knowing their true names, a thing Le Guin took seriously during her writing career, reportedly saying, I must find the right name, or I cannot get on with the story. I cannot write the story if the name is wrong. Like many high fantasy stories, the Earthsea series has its roots in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings trilogy, but Le Guin's twist saw that, instead of a holy war between good and evil, the stories centre on a quest for balance among competing forces, a concept she had adapted from her lifelong study of Taoist texts. In her science fiction works, Le Guin's writing is not only highly recommended for its genre elements, but also for its literary sensibilities. The critic Harold Bloom praised Le Guin as a superbly imaginative creator and major stylist, who has raised fantasy to high literature for our time. Her most popular works of science fiction sit within a series known as The Hainish Cycle, which is set in an alternate history slash future where human civilizations stretch across planets orbiting a number of nearby stars. In this series, human beings did not evolve from Earth, but were the result of interstellar colonies planted by Hain long ago, which was followed by a long period when interstellar travel ceased. The Hainish Cycle, which is not so much a coherent series as is a collection of connected stories, spans decades of Le Guin's career, starting with Rockinen's World in 1966 and ending with The Telling, which was published in 2000. In between are award-winning masterworks like The Left Hand of Darkness, The Dispossessed, The Word for World is Forest and Four Ways to Forgiveness. The Left Hand of Darkness, published in 1969, takes place on a planet called Gethin, where people are neither male nor female, but assume the attributes of either sex during brief periods. Le Guin later referred to her novel as a thought experiment designed to explore the nature of human societies. The book won two major prizes in science fiction, the Hugo Award and Nebula Awards, and is widely taught in secondary schools and colleges. The Dispossessed and Ambiguous Utopia, published in 1974, is another of her most well-known works and contrasts two forms of social organisation highly relevant at the time of writing, capitalism and communism. Le Guin considered herself a feminist, a trait that is clearly evident in her work. Despite this, critics question why Le Guin's books mostly centred on male protagonists. In a 2018 documentary, Le Guin spoke of how, when she started writing, men were at the centre of fantasy and said that she had been a woman pretending to think like a man in her earlier work. Her later works are mostly told from a female point of view. Didacticism is another trait that exudes from Le Guin's writing, the idea that describes literature serving as a means to teach the reader something, whether that be morally or practically, as well as for pleasure and entertainment. In an interview with Paris Review, Le Guin said, A very good book tells me news, tells me things I don't know, or didn't know I knew, yet I recognise them. Yes, I see, yes, this is how the world is. Fiction and poetry and drama cleanse the doors of perception. Ursula Le Guin died in 2018 at the age of 88, but continues to influence science fiction and fantasy today and will do so for years to come.